What's up, War Report family? Back live from SEC Media Days, and we are here talking a little bit of football, but with a basketball. I ain't gonna call you no basketball guy. I ain't gonna disrespect you like that. You're an athlete, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. man. But Ron Slay, right here, man. Um, Ron, I appreciate you taking a little time to talk to us today, man. No doubt, man. I appreciate yeah. you guys having me. Man. Now, uh, you know, I know you. The hardwood is like that's your domain. Yeah, no uh, question. But we're gonna talk a little. We're gonna talk a little football today because okay. we're here for SEC Media Days. Um, now. Tennessee is your squad. Right. Uh, Josh Heupel mm -hmm. talked a little bit today. Um, tell me what you liked about what you heard from Josh today. Man, I, I think it's starting to be a little bit more comfortable, okay. first and foremost. His approach, um, his demeanor on the stage, I think, you know, going into year four, it's a big difference when you know you have a good team. Right. And uh, it's like a quiet confidence. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do any hoopla or anything. I think that's what he's doing. Like, and he's also protecting um, his prize investment in Nico. Nico. Ilya Maliava is a, is a dog. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Hold on. You like that? You, hold on. You, you know, I practice that. You, you, know, you, know, I practice you, know, that. you know the man is a professional because <laughs> you just rattled that off with no hesitation. Hold on. Do, do it for me again. Yeah, yeah, do it for yeah, me yeah. again. That's Nico, man. Ilya, Ilya Maliava. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, man. I practiced that a hundred times. <laughs> I, I was like, because I heard my brother, he did it on the morning show. And I'm yeah. like, but I ain't get it that quick. Yeah. So I was just sitting at home like, yeah, my Liabe, yeah, my Liabe, yeah, my yeah, Liabe. Yeah, yeah, so there it is, man. But okay. uh, protecting him and letting people know that he's still young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Coming in with a lot of acclaim, a lot of expectations, right. but it's going to be growing pains at all times. And I think you had a good um, a good look at what he can be coming out of the bowl game. Right. So put some right pieces around him, a healthy line. And I think Hypo, man, he, he, he knows that. And it's, it's all about coming in. Humble, you know, um, no, we're going to win the SEC or anything, but just take it one game at a time with this okay. group. All right, so we got a couple of new boys in town, yeah. right? Oklahoma and Texas. That's right. Uh, you guys this year have Oklahoma come into town. No, we go to Norman. We got to go to Norman, man. Um, between that and the last time the Tide visited mm -hmm. there, um, some really big games on the schedule for Tennessee this season. Yeah. Uh, what are your expectations overall for for Tennessee this year? I expect nine wins, man. Nine? If I, yeah, okay. if I had to, if I had to that's put, not, that's not bad. That's around what they've yeah. been doing, right? You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I'm I'm cool with it going over. I think nine is a good safe place. Um, right. if you're betting, you're looking for betting odds. Yeah, yeah. I'm going over nine, but I, I think um the home the home schedule is favorable. Right. Um, you still got to go and win the big games. You got to go to Georgia. Got Alabama coming to you. Florida coming to you. Um, and then you got to go to Norman. And I think this year that sets the tone. Right. You know, you got a, a neutral side game with NC State, but right. week four, man, you roll around, you got to go to Norman. And if you can handle business there, I think it sets you up. Just got to go on that run as far as confidence. These young guys defensively, how do they handle that environment? And um, Norman, Oklahoma, they got to they handle this pace. For sure. Yeah, and that's one thing I think when you go into games, it's nothing you can prepare for a week out. If it's game one, it's a little different because you got the whole spring to prepare for it. But with that speed that Coach Heupel and those guys play with, I'm not sure if anybody's ready for that, especially if you haven't been in the conference. Right. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, Big 12, they play a little up-tempo. Yeah, no question. There, but, no uh, question. But, yeah, it's absolutely – it's different, I think, with – the, the type of athletes yes. that are going to be employed. Absolutely. And the space be, yeah. in between. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah. Um, now, I'm going to pivot a little bit because uh, – are, are you you a video game guy? Do you Man, it, it, listen, man. I don't play video game. I'm just asking. I haven't been able to since yeah. I retired from hooping. Okay. So I retired in 2016, mm -hmm. and I used to occupy my time going to practice, right. come home, play the game for eight hours. Yeah. But as an adult, <laughs> I, had to, I, had to start, I had to grow up a little bit. I had kids yeah, yeah, and they had a family yeah. and things. So I ain't really had the time to, I, I'm not to get mad it, at man. You. The, the reason I ask you this <laughs> is I don't know if you saw, but mm -hmm. they came out prior to the season with a list of the toughest places to play. Mm. And um, they did not have yeah. Neyland in the top 10, which I thought was I a little that. crazy. Yeah, the hate is real. Yeah. The hate is real. So, uh, listen, man, for those that don't know, let's mm -hmm. never step inside that. Yeah. That orange wall of yeah, sound. Yeah. Tell them about Neyland, man. It's different. Yeah. You got 100,000 that come together, man. If the game is at 11, we out there at 5 a.m. Yeah. tailgating. The game at night, we out there at 9. And it's starting and it's going Listen, and it's man, tradition. When they went and ripped down the goalposts yeah. and walked that boy to the river, I was like, nah, y'all nah, this different. Y yeah, it's different. <laughs> I right, mean, I'm telling you, and it's been like that ever since I've known it. Like yeah. when I went on my visit, it was against the game, uh, a game against Florida at um, in Neyland and 
It was bananas. They did the same thing. Yeah. Tore the goalpost down, carried it down the street, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Threw it in the river. But it's it's a different, it's a different level, man. And yeah. it's nothing can get you ready for it. You know what I mean? If you ask any opponent that comes in there and they're gonna be truthfully honest, it's a different atmosphere and it right. gets loud, especially when they're good. Right. Yeah, so it's they're they're itching for a chip. Yeah. And it, it, it is, and it's it's gotta be done at some point. Yeah, it's been a while. All right. So now I know you guys don't play all this right. season in right. uh in football, but have you had an opportunity to assess where you feel like Auburn falls in the in the pecking order right now in the SEC? Man, honestly, I've been on this since the end of last year. I said Hugh Freeze was gonna come in and, and turn things around quicker mm -hmm. than people think. Yeah. Um, he's been doing it on the recruiting trail, kind of um, snatch some guys out, and it's right. it's gonna be remain to be seen um, how the receivers respond. Right. Okay. If the receivers can get something done, they can catch. They'll be better. You okay. know what I'm saying? Defensively, don't know what they're gonna offer. That's always been a staple, but putting some points on the board. I think getting that excitement back going. I got them, man, at least over seven wins, man. Six okay. or seven wins, man. Yeah, and I think that's that's that's, that's the biggest floor. number seven and a half. Is it? So okay, yeah. well, okay, there it is. Yeah, you're right, you're right there. You're right just, there. just on the under. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think that's a step, that's a step in the right direction. Like right. you still gotta let him get back, get his feet wet, get his recruits in now, and then we'll see Auburn back rolling. All right, last question I have for you here, because this is a big matchup for you guys. We didn't talk about this one specifically, but he was here talking about uh his season, and that's Kirby. Be smart, yeah. Georgia. Um, what do, what are you feeling about the Georgia Bulldogs this year? Man, reload. Yeah, I mean it's it's amazing to watch them how they do this and keep this train rolling. Man, you losing guys. They lose guys to the portal. They lose guys to the league. Um, some guys get kicked off. You know what I mean? But they always find a way to reload. And I think Kirby's message resonates with these guys, and they want to be great. Yeah, that's the thing about it. Everybody pulling in the same direction with all the distractions that they have around the program. When football comes around, they lock in and they keep their eye on the prize, man. So I expect Georgia, if I had to pick a favorite right now, it would probably be Georgia. Okay. All right. Now, I ain't going to ask you no basketball questions today. Okay. Uh, but we, we might need to uh, get you back on the show at some point in time, closer to basketball. I'm with that. Get in I'm with that, man. I'm yeah, with that. We know, we know it's going to be like between the uh, them, them lines yes. and that one right there. Yes. Yeah, top to bottom, too. Yeah. yeah. Like this, this, this fun in football. Yeah. No Basketball's question. Get this like basketball that. right there, man. With yeah. the coaches, the yeah. players. Yeah. Like, sorry. Yeah, yes, indeed. Well, Ron Slay, appreciate it so much. We again, we're live here from SEC Media Days, and we want to thank our sponsor today, and that's Golden's Cast Iron. If you guys have any needs for getting the grill out there, make sure you hit them up. You want to get your weight up, make sure you hit them up. They got those great weights over there as well. But we're signing off here from Media Days. Until the next time, Warrior.